Hey, what's up guys? BJ Dell back with a new video today. I don't know if you've been on Facebook lately and have seen all these super cool 3D photos people are posting using their iPhones or their Androids that have the dual camera systems. But did you know that you can actually create these cool 3D photos from your own artwork? So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through that process using the iPad Pro with Procreate and a computer. Those are the only two things you need. You do not need an iPhone with the two camera system. You do not need an Android phone with the two camera system. As long as you have an iPad and Procreate and a computer, you can do this. So I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Keep watching. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. So like I said in the intro, we're going to work on Procreate's ability to make a 3D photo for Facebook today. It takes a little work around, but we're gonna walk through the entire process. So first thing we're gonna do is make a new canvas. So go up here to the plus button and we're gonna make a custom canvas size. We want this one to be 1125 by 1500 and you can keep the DPI at 72. So these uh, 3D photos on Facebook, basically they became popular with the uh, the iPhones that came with the dual camera system to where you could do portrait mode. Of course now a lot of Android phones have it too. Um, and basically what it does is it creates the regular image along with a depth map and combining those two uh, photos into one gives that 3D look that Facebook uses to uh, process those. So we're going to be doing that today. The, I guess, native res resolution of those photos is at 1125 by 1500. So these are going to show up right, uh, not have any stretching or distortion when you post them to Facebook. So let's go ahead and create that. And of course here, you know, if you want to, you can start drawing, making a uh, design from scratch, but we're actually gonna use previous designs that I've done to kind of speed this up. I just wanna show you the kind of uh, options behind it. So if you uh, look at this one, this is a design I've already done. If you've been to the channel before, you might recognize some of these designs. I just decided to use ones that have been featured in the previous Let's Draw videos. So as you can see, uh, this done design has all the layers to it. I've got the uh, line layer and highlights, shadows, the color flats, uh, and then the, the sketch layer is turned off here. But uh, what we're going to do is actually go up here to the wrench icon and we're going to copy the canvas. And you want to make sure you have the background turned off. We just want that transparent background. And then once you have the uh, canvas copied, it's basically gonna merge all those layers together and keep the transparent background. So we're gonna go back out to gallery, go into the new canvas that we just created, go back up to the wrench icon and then hit paste. Uh, and then it drops it in. I'm sure this is something you guys have probably used before, but just wanted to walk you through all the steps. And so from here, you can see we've got the background and we've got that layer one which is that copy and paste that we just did. Of course, we can hit the arrow button here to adjust it and kind of move it to where you ever uh, you know, want it to be on the, the canvas. Uh, and then my idea for this is just to kind of start stacking things and, and having stuff in the foreground and the background to, to give that 3D look. So uh, basically it's just a rinse and repeat type of thing, finding other pictures, copy, pasting, so on and so forth. Uh, I think you probably get the gist of that, so I'm not going to dive too deep into doing it over and over again. It's basically just doing that uh, until you get the, the desired designs in there. So uh, before the video, I went ahead and just created this. So it's basically, like I said, just going into each of these individual canvases, turning off the background, copy and pasting them into this canvas that's at 1125 by 1500. So... As you can see here, I'll pull up the layer menu. Everything is a separate layer. Um, the way that this 3D parallax is gonna work is you obviously want your background images on the bottom. Uh, you can go ahead and turn off the background color if you want. Uh, so I've got the, I'll just kind of turn off everything here so you can see, I've got the background image here. So that's gonna be at the very back of the, the photo we're gonna upload. And then I've got my logo next. So that's gonna be the second furthest thing uh, back. 
got the cactus design followed by the bear followed by the taco and then in the very foreground the closest thing to the viewer is going to be the uh, grim reaper design so basically it's the grim reaper stacked on top of the taco which is stacked on top of the bear which are all stacked on top of the cactus which then uh, the logos behind all those followed by the background so now that we've got all those on our canvas what we're going to do is we're going to slide each of these to the right so that they're all highlighted and then we're going to go ahead and group these together so if i close this here you can see the drop down menu contains all the layers if we close that it's just one new group so what we're going to go ahead and do from here is let's go ahead and slide this to the left and let's duplicate this layer okay so now we have two layers of the exact same thing let's turn off actually let's rename this first so this new group up here if you just click this and hit rename we're going to name this um color version and then this one we're going to go ahead and rename this is going to be our depth mat so basically what this does is you do different shades of of gray to tell the program the the software and that facebook has built in uh where everything is in correlation to um, each layer so uh, you'll do that by doing different shades of gray so let's go ahead and let's go back to the uh, the background first so uh, with this i want to make the background dark i don't want to go completely black uh, i've done a little bit of testing on this and going completely black uh, kind of leaves some white areas when you twist and turn once you have that 3d effect so i found if you go kind of like a darker dark gray not all the way black it helps uh, alleviate some of that white that you get so now that we've got that color set let's go ahead and select our background and we're just going to go ahead and fill that layer and i'm not sure why that didn't work let's go back here and try this again that was because we've got this one turned on there we go so we got the color turned off now we can see the background layer is filled with that darker gray so now i'm going to start from the front and since the the grim reaper is the closest to us it's going to be the lightest color so we're going to kind of go up here with this light gray we're going to select the grim reaper layer click it again and fill layer so now we've got there's kind of like a white spot here whoops now we've got the uh layer done and it's that filled in whitish gray color so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the taco it's the next one back so we're going to take this and move it down just a little bit so i want a little bit of variation between these don't go too dark because by the time you get back to these other ones it's going to be too close to the background it's going to kind of mess things up so we don't want to have too much variation between these just enough so let's click this again All right there we go so we're going to go ahead and select the taco and we're going to go ahead and fill that layer so you can see there is a difference there you can still see the uh the outline here when it's overlapping so that's kind of the the goal you're going for don't get too dark with these we're going to go to the bear we're going to select the bear and we're going to fill him in once again go up here a little bit darker not too much we're going to go to the cactus select and fill there and then finally the logo is going to be our last one so let's go a little bit darker on there we're going to select and we're going to fill and you can see the overlap here you can see the difference between them so you want a little bit of variation but not too much you don't want to go too dark so right now i've got what three four five and with the background six layers on this one so we've got that completed now what we need to do is we need to save each of these so we're going to turn this one off we're going to just use our color version and we're going to go up to our wrench icon and we're going to share and we can actually share it as a jpeg 
So let's do that. And we're going to save to files. Now, the reason we need to save to files, because if you save actually uh, as an image, it's going to save it with the file name IMG and then whatever set of numbers. When we save it to files, we need to actually change the file names uh, so that Facebook recognizes that it is a, a 3D photo. So we'll go ahead and save to file so we can do that. And let's go ahead and save it to Procreate. And then let's go ahead and turn that one off. And then we'll go ahead and save this one as well. Save to files. And of course, it's going to tell us we already have one uh, that exists with that name, but that's okay because we're going to go ahead and change the name here in a second. So we'll just go ahead and keep both. Okay, so we are done there. So let's go ahead and go to our files. We'll click on here and I've got these other ones in here. I want to delete that I was testing this earlier. So we've got the two files here. Let's go ahead and if you hold down on the, the one with the colored version, let's go ahead and rename that. So just hold down till the menu comes up, hit rename. And I'm just gonna name this one BJ Dell. Now this next step is key. When we rename the depth map, you need to type in the, the first file name that you used. It has to be exact, even with capitalization. So if the first letter is capitalized in the one that we just did, this one needs to be capitalized too. If there's any variation in this, it will not work. So after that's done, then you need to do underscore and then depth. Okay, so we've got two files saved. We've got the BJ Dell, we've got BJ Dell Depth. Those are the two files that we need to upload to Facebook. So this next step, I'm going to jump over to the laptop to do. Uh, to upload these to Facebook, you cannot use the iPad. Uh, and the reason is this, if you use the Facebook app on the iPad and you go into upload photos, uh, number one, it will not let you select the file system to upload the photos. You can only upload photos uh, through the actual camera roll on uh, the iPad. So number one, that's not gonna work because the, the names are not right. So you can't use that. Uh, the browser, if you use like uh, Safari and you upload those um, through there, it does give you the ability to uh, select the files folder to get the photos from. So you will go in and see these. The only problem there is uh, you can only select one at a time. You cannot select multiple photos at the same time. Uh, of course you can upload two in one post, but you have to select them, you know, upload one and then upload the other one and then post. Um, that will not work because like I said, Facebook needs to see these together. They need to be uploaded together. That's what launches the, uh, the algorithm to compile the 3D image. And that will not work with Safari on here on the iPad. So that's why we need to jump over to the, the computer to do that. Uh, I know there are ways if you've got, um, you know, an iPhone or another Android phone with uh, the dual camera system, your Facebook app will give you an option on your phone to upload a 3D photo. Uh, there's some workarounds. You can't just take these and upload straight from there. Uh, you will have to uh, download another app and I'm not going to walk you through that because like I said this works fine I don't know you know if everybody has one of those dual camera systems but chances are you probably have you know a, a computer laying around that you can hop on to finish this out so uh, I'm going to send these over to the computer and then we'll pick it up with the screen share on there Okay, so now we're over on the computer. Um, basically, you just need to get your files that you made over on the iPad with Procreate over to your computer. So I'm using a Mac, so I just used AirDrop to get them over. If you're on a PC, you know, if you want to uh, email them to yourself, use Google Drive, Dropbox, however you need to to get them over to your computer, do that. So uh, as you can see, they are here in my download section. I've got Facebook open, the create a new post window is here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna highlight these. So they're both selected and we're gonna click and drag and drop them here. We need to do them both at the same time because you'll see this will start processing. And once Facebook realizes 
that that depth map is there. You'll see creating a 3D photo pops up. This is gonna spin and it's gonna process it and then we're gonna be able to start scrolling around here shortly. All right, there we go. And you can see as we drag the mouse around, everything has that three-dimensional look to it. Looks very, very cool. So a lot of these posts that I've seen on Facebook, um, the colors are messed up, like I said, with not going too dark between the, the different layers and uh, not going all the way black on the back. Uh, if you do mess that up, you'll see some white areas in between the uh, the layers when you go too far over. Um, you'll have like a, a white gap between the, the layers of these characters and the background. So you can see we did a pretty good job here of uh, choosing the right colors. You don't see any of those white gaps. Uh, pretty much every single one of these that I've seen, you do have the blur. You can see where the layers meet, like the uh, the cactus here with the uh, the sickle from the Grim Reaper. You got a blur there, a little bit of blur here by the, uh, the elbow of the bear. So uh, just playing with the overlap on there, you can kind of tighten that up a little bit. And maybe the colors, I haven't got a chance to mess around with it too much to get the blur out. But like I said, pretty much every single one that I've seen has that blur. So I'm not sure of the exact answer. Uh, with that right now, I know maybe getting the color separation and the, uh, like I said, the, the layers overlap a little bit differently uh, might clear that up a little bit. But just play around with it and see, like I said, if you get those white areas, play around with the color settings between those different shades of gray. But I'll go ahead and post this final 3D photo in Keep Creating, the uh, art community that started on Facebook. So you guys can check it out for yourselves, throw it on your phone and kind of see what it does. Uh, if you guys haven't joined, make sure you hop on over to Facebook after the video and do that. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, and then also too, if you guys are going to make any of these yourself, I definitely would love to see them. So hop on over and start posting these on Facebook. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments here or over on Keep Creating, and I'll try to answer what I can. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications too so you can get alerted when I post new videos. As for me, I can be found online at bjdell.com as well as on Instagram and Twitter at bjdell. So until next time, keep creating.